Good day grade tens. Welcome to week four of mathematics. In this lesson we're going to be looking at exponents. And what I've done is I've divided the lessons and exponents up into their different properties. So in this lesson we're just going to be looking at the property number one. Doesn't matter about the order. But the property that we're going to be looking at is that x to the power of m times x to the power of n is equal to x to the m plus n. So let's look at that property. Simplify 3a times a to the fifth times a squared. So the exponent property we can use here is if we have the same base, in this case it's a, if we have it raised to the x power and we're multiplying it by a to the y power, then this is just going to be equal to a to the x plus y power. And we'll think about why that works in a second. So let's just apply it here. And let's start with the a to the fifth times a squared. So if we just apply this property over here, this will result in a to the 5 plus tooth power. So that's what those guys reduce to or simplify to. And then of course we still have we still have the 3a out front. Now what I want to do is take a little bit of a side and realize why this worked. Let's think about what a to the fifth times a squared means. a to the fifth, a to the fifth literally means a times a times a times a times a. Now a squared literally means a times a a times a. And we're multiplying the two times each other. So we're multiplying these five a's times these two a's. Now what have we just done? We're multiplying a times itself five times and then another two times. Five times and then another two times. We are multiplying a times itself. So let me make it clear. This over here is a to the fifth. This over here is a squared. But when you multiply the two, you're multiplying a by itself you're multiplying a by itself seven times. Five plus two. So this is a to the seventh power. a to the five plus two power. So this simplifies to 3a times a to the seventh power. a to the seventh power. Now, you might say, how do I apply the property over here? What is the exponent on the a? And remember, if I just have an a over here, this is equivalent to a to the first power. So I can rewrite 3a as 3 times a to the first power. And now it maybe make, makes it a little bit clearer. a to the first power, and the association property of multiplication, I can do the multiplication of the a's before I worry about the 3's. So I can multiply these two guys first. So a to the first times a to the seventh, I just have to add the exponents because I have the same base and I'm taking the product. That's going to be a to the eighth power, and I still have this 3 out front. So 3a times a to the fifth times a squared simplifies to 3a to the eighth power. Right, now grade tens. I think that he explained it very well how to use exponent property one, which is x to the m times x to the n, which equals x to the m plus n. What you need to do is go practice some examples, and then you need to do the assessment at the end of the section. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.